Welcome back. Anyone who is even remotely tuned in to the mayor's race right now, and I hope you are, knows it's a crowded race and there is no clear front runner at the moment. One of those candidates in the very large field of Democratic contenders is Andrew Yang, the former presidential candidate turned mayoral hopeful, is joining us right now. Andrew, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate it. It's great to be here, Chris. Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, let's jump right into it. Let's start with the topic of safety, specifically when it comes to subways. You are now calling for those 250 cops recently added to the subway to be permanent positions. Specifically, what else do you want to do to make sure subways are safer? Well, right now, the officers that we're assigned are just for rush hour and subway services 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So those should be permanent positions and they should also be patrolling ongoing, but they can't just stop at the platforms, Chris. They need to actually get on the subways and then do visual inspections of the length of the subway cars. And then if you're riding the subway, you would see the cops pass by and I have a feeling that would add to people's sense of safety and security. And are you also asking for cops to be permanent at all stations 24 seven? Well, we have about 3,250 police officers, uh, maybe 450 or so, 472 uh, station. So it is possible that you could have officers at every station, certainly throughout the day, maybe not 24 seven, but you'd have enough coverage so that people who are riding the subway would be more likely to see an officer and more likely to feel safe and secure and any assailants uh, or people that, that have uh, ill intent would also see those officers and hopefully stay away and act differently. Okay. And this next question might raise some eyebrows here. You're calling for legalizing not only pot, but hallucinogenic mushrooms and MDMA, that's often seen as a party drug, to treat PTSD for veterans. Now elaborate on this plan and also exactly how you do this because you'd need federal and state approval here, right? Well, this is something that uh, I'd advocate for because I've spoken to so many military veterans who say that uh, the only thing they've found that can help them through their PTSD are some of these psilocybin mushrooms and other substances. Uh, and if someone served our country and this is going to, to help them be well and in some cases avoid self-harm, then I think this is worth advocating. I want to ask you about a guest we had right here on the show last night, Catherine Garcia. You have said the former sanitation commissioner would be your number two pick. You have praised her. You said you talked to her often. Days ago, one particular poll put her in the lead. Yesterday, you began criticizing her track record in the sanitation department. Now, have you changed your tune on Catherine Garcia, or is this just politics here? Well, I was asked specifically why I think I'd make a better mayor than Catherine. I like and admire Catherine and her service, but the fact is New Yorkers know we need a change. We need a different type of leadership than we've been getting because our bureaucracies have been failing us right and left, safety, trash, schools, you name it. So I, I remain a Catherine Garcia fan, but I was just asked point blank, why do I think I, I'd be a better candidate and a better mayor? And do you believe that she was a good sanitation commissioner? Uh, I think she did a lot of great things for the city, but also she was part of a de Blasio administration that a lot of people are frustrated with. And right now, among the issues that New Yorkers talk to me about every single day, trash is among them. And that's not on Catherine, but we know we need a different type of leadership in New York City than we've been getting. All right. Democratic candidate Andrew Yang, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate it. Enjoy the Memorial Day weekend, everyone. It feels like it's already started. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you, too. All right. Nick